Presbyterian ministry holds silver tea. Large number of members and guests attend meeting at the Rotet home Thursday. Mrs. Leo Rotet of Mulberry Street was hostess yesterday for the Silver Tea and the guest day of the Home and Foreign Missionary Society of the Presbyterian Church, which was held at her home. The home was beautifully decorated in garden and wildflowers. The Reverend J. C. Griffin was in charge after the devotionals. After a short discussion of business matters, Mrs. E. O. Hutchison sang a solo and Miss Thelma Syme played a violin solo. Both were accompanied by Mrs. Archie Carmichael at the piano. A playlet entitled Pandora's Box was presented by the following members, Mrs. Henry Warren Pandora, Mrs. Ora Doyle Epimethis, Miss Elizabeth Vander Hope, Mrs. David Llewellyn Ignorance, Mrs. R. M. Stwally Indifference, Mrs. James Allen Child Labor, and Miss Sarah Downing, Prejudice. Tea was served in the dining room by the following women. Mrs. Lewin, Mrs. Swally, Miss Downing, and Miss Fender. Mrs. Griffin and Miss Kelly McBen poured. Mrs. Jeannie Green of Springfield, Illinois, and Mrs. Matthew Kerr of Edgerton, West Virginia, and Miss Bernadine Wilson of Akron, Ohio were out-of-town guests. There were 43 members and guests present. Miss Margaret Rich of Tangler spent yesterday with Mr. and Mrs. William Hump of North 7th Street. Mrs. Horney entertains Terre Haute women. Mrs. J. L. Horney is entertaining the members of, Friday, of the Friday Bridge Club of Terre Haute at a dinner meeting today. This is in observance of the 11th anniversary of the organization of the club. Mrs. Horney has been its president during the 11 years. Has AFF club meeting. Mrs. Dan Drake of South 4th Street was hostess Thursday evening for the meeting of the AFF club. Euchre was played at three tables with prizes being awarded to Mrs. Charles Fair High, Mrs. Tom McLatchell, second high, Mrs. Cole Curry, loans, Mrs. Fame Everwine, surprise package, and Mrs. James Fellows guest. Other guests were Mrs. Charles Ferguson and Miss Gilbert Martin. At the next week meeting will be at the home of Mrs. John Stone on South 7th Street. Mr. and Mrs. William Mitchell returned this afternoon to their home in Chicago after visiting Mr. and Mrs. T. L. McDonald and family of west of the city since yesterday. Enjoy Wiener Roast. Ten members of the JWG Club and their families enjoyed a Wiener Roast at Beechwood Park, Rockville, Thursday evening. The next meeting will be in two weeks at the home of Mrs. R. E. Peck on South 4th Street. Mrs. Layton Mack of north of the city was an honored guest at a birthday picnic supper at her home Thursday evening. Guests were Mr. and Mrs. Harold Mack and baby son, Jean Edward of Clinton, Mrs. Rose Miller, Quincy Piles, and Leighton Mack and family. Mr. and Mrs. J.R. Mahoney of 335 Vine Street have returned to their home after having been gone about 10 days on a trip to Denver, Colorado, where they visited Mr. and Mrs. Mahoney's, where they visited Mr. Mahoney's brother, Len, and Mrs. Mahoney. On Monday, Mr. and Mrs. Mahoney will move from their present home to 119 South 6th Street, the property owned by Mrs. Caroline Affler. Bible Class Meets The Young Married Couples Class of the First Baptist Church met Thursday evening at the church. The meeting was an indoor wiener roast and was for the purpose of getting acquainted. Games and other entertainment were, played, were enjoyed. The next regular class meeting will be held with Mrs. Ann Barclay on South 5th Street. Young couples interested are cordially invited to attend. Mrs. Walter Miller and baby daughter Betty Fay are at the home of Mr. M Mrs. Miller's parents, Mr. and Mrs. Oliver Gardner on South 4th Street. They left the Vermilion County Hospital Thursday afternoon. <laughs>
Mr. and Mrs. H. M. Caldwell have returned from a week's visit with Mr. and Mrs. D. Kirk White of Cleveland and with other relatives at Niles and Warren, Ohio. Warren H. Pierce left this morning on a month's business trip through Georgia. He will also visit in Louisville, Georgia at the home of Mr. and Mrs. J. R. Phillips, Mrs. Pierce's parents. He will be accompanied home by Ms. Mrs. Pierce and baby daughter Helen, who have been visiting in Louisville since the 1st of August. Mrs. Orletta, Ms. Orletta Griffiths of Louisville, Kentucky, were, will arrive in Clinton tomorrow evening to spend a week's vacation with her parents, Mr. and Mrs. William Griffiths. Ms. Mary Ellen and Miss Emma Jane Satterley spent last evening in Newport visiting their sister, Miss Virginia, who teaches at in the high school there. Mr. and Mrs. Roscoe Davis of Benton, Illinois, who have been visiting Mr. Davis' uncle and aunt, Mr. and Mrs. John Charles of Nebaker Street, since Monday have returned to their home. They were accompanied home by Mrs. Charles' sister, Mrs. Mary F. Thomas, who has been visiting her for the past three weeks. Food sale Saturday. Members of the Women's Relief Corps have completed plans for the food sale, which they are to have at Swineheart's store Saturday morning. All kinds of food will be sold. Miss Marguerite Bolsonato of North 9th Street has completed nurse training at the City Hospital in Indianapolis and returned to Clinton. She spent last night with Miss Catherine Dreher of North 6th Street. Hospital news. Mrs. Fred Clark of Fairview, who has been ill for a month, was taken to the Vermilion County Hospital yesterday for observation. Entertains Bunko Club. Mrs. John Foster of 7th Street and 7th and Walnut Streets was hostess yesterday evening for the meeting of the Thursday Bunko Club. Bunko games were played at two tables and prizes went to Mrs. Bob Barbie, hi, Mrs. Wilmot Connor, Bunko, and Mrs. Will Barry, low. Mrs. Frank Mitchell of North 4th Street will entertain the club at its next two, at its next meeting in two weeks. Mrs. Elsie Fisher and, the, and her baby son, Lynn Nair of Hannah, Indiana, and Miss Isabel McNair, who is making her home with her sister. Miss Fisher, Mrs. Fisher are spending this week visiting their parents, Mr. and Mrs. George McNair of South 3rd Street, Mr. Fla Fisher, plans to arrive here over the weekend and accompany them back to Hannah. John Frederick Earls, son of Mr. and Mrs. Wayne Earls of Vine Street, has returned to his home after spending the past nine months at Los Angeles, California, visiting his uncle and aunt, Mr. and Mrs. Howard Stockton. He went to California with Mr. and Mrs. John Bo Bocinetto and family, who are now living at Willowbrook. M. H. Stokesbury and daughter, Miss Eva, left today for Oak Park, Illinois, where Miss Stokesbury will resume her position in the schools. Mrs. Mrs. David Baird of South Fifth Street is confined to her bed after suffering a sprained ankle in a fall on Wednesday.